Hi everybody, my name is Mrs. Shear. I am coming on here because I wanted to introduce myself. I feel like I haven't done that yet, uh, besides on our little Zoom video. So I just wanted to introduce myself. Um, again, my name is Mrs. Shear. So Mrs. M-R-S, because I have a mister, I have a husband. And shear, the easy way to remember that is shear like shearing a sheep, or you can just take out the middle R in shear and it says shear. So it's not it's not shearer, it's just shear. Okay. Um other interesting things about me. I was born in Okinawa, Japan. That's kind of fascinating about me. Um, I have three dogs, one cat, and a bunny, and a snake. I am an animal person. I love animals. I do own my own business, SS Animal Care and Photography, and that's fun. That's what I spend my time doing when I'm not working for here or um, hanging out with you guys, and I enjoy both very much. I decided to take hobbies that I love and make it into a business because I learned way back in 2017 that I would not be able to work full-time as a teacher due to my health. And that was a tough one to acknowledge and come to terms with because that was my dream. That was something that I had been working for for quite some time and so I'm so happy that I found this position at Greeley Options because it allows me to do everything I love about teaching and still get to spend time with my students, get the connections that I love building and doing all the fun things instead of all of the standardized things that have to be done a certain way, which aren't always the funnest way either. So. That's, that's kind of how I got to where I am. Um, I do have a service dog you guys will meet when we go to in-person. His name's Maximus. For those of you with allergies, I treat him very, very, uh, what am I trying to say? I treat him with anti-allergen stuff as well as he is the most well-groomed dog that there is because I don't want to affect any allergies. I myself have mild allergies to animals, but I take medication that makes it where it's a little more acceptable and easy. But I also have such a love for animals that I kind of just ignore my allergy. And so I do make it where my animals, they are all in really good grooming shape. And pretty much anyone that has allergies unless it's a saliva allergy, then they don't have allergies to my dogs. So you can feel safe with that. Um, the reason why I have a service dog is because he helps me do things that I can't do for myself. I am a bit of a stubborn one. I like to ignore my body when it tells me that I need to sit down and take a break. And my dog happens to be more stubborn than I am and doesn't let me get away with trying to continue on when I'm supposed to take a break. And so he's very helpful with that. He helps me with many different things, but that's the one that is the most prevalent in school. Um, you guys, a little bit about service dogs. Service dogs are not to be distracted, which means we're not supposed to look at them, tell them they're adorable, say hi, those kinds of things when they're working. However, I do allow at the very, very end of school when he's off duty, unless I am absolutely not able to go to my car without the help of Max, sometimes I'll let him off duty and you guys can meet him. But otherwise, just pretend he's not even there. I know it's so hard and he is so handsome, but you can do it. Um, other things about me is I 
I enjoy playing music in the classroom. That is something that I find helpful for me. And I think it helps the students too. And I am saying a lot of hands, sorry. Um, other things, I like to paint. So up here, you can see some of my paintings I've done. I'm trying to turn it there. So we got this. Ugh. This is hard. This one right here was my first oil painting ever. This was my first gigantic oil painting. Um, trying to get there. Okay. Pikachu I did many years ago. It was in, I'm, I'm going to say 2013, maybe 2012. And I made that for my sister. And then over here we have Squirtle. And I painted that one for my husband, Killian. That's his favorite character. And then I have realized that I haven't put up my favorite Pokemon. So my next painting is going to be a painting of Eevee because Eevee's my favorite Pokemon. And I can't believe I don't, I never painted one for myself. Um, other things I like to do is I like photography. That's something that is important to me. I also am in charge of the yearbook, which I don't know where we're going with that this year, but we'll f figure it all out. Um, I had really fun making the one last year, and I enjoy taking pictures of people, of animals, of plants, of the sky. It's just, it's endless. Even inanimate objects, I have pretty fun taking pictures, pretty fun time taking pictures with. Um, other things I like to do is I like to train dogs. That is something that I'm very talented at and can use my skills and help other people love their pets. And I'm back to saying the ands again. <laughs> um, let's see. Hobbies I enjoy that I can't do very often. I like horseback riding and I like rock climbing. I have... A fun time making dog leashes. They are made out of paracord with a particular braid. It's not a typical three braid, it's a different kind of braid. And those are really fun to make and cool. Um, I enjoy playing video games. My favorite video games are Animal Crossing, Carcassonne. Planet Zoo and Planet Roller Coaster. Those are definitely my favorite. My favorite foods in the summertime, I really enjoy steak, but most of the time, I'll tell you, I'm a mostly vegetarian because I really don't like the taste of meat except for steak. Um, I enjoy pretzels and Nutella. And ice cream. I am very, very, very lactose intolerant. So <laughs> I get the lactate ice cream. And even then, it still gives me a stomach ache. So right now, I'm on an ice cream break. Um, other things I like is brownies, which is why we named our cat, who is brown, brownie. And... I like Oreos, so my bunny's name is Oreo. She is white and black. And I love s'mores. My favorite treat in the summer is s'mores. I'm trying to think of anything. I like cotton candy. Cotton candy is one of my favorite things, except for I can't make it without the cotton candy machine. But sometime you'll see me at the cotton candy machine. And that is one of my favorite things to do. Um, I don't know what else to tell you. I, I truly enjoy making video get, vi videos for you guys. It is a lot harder for me to make a video than it is to teach in the classroom, uh, mainly because I just get so nervous, uh, as you can tell here. Um, but I hope you see how much 
effort and love and encouragement I put into these lessons because I truly believe that science should be fun. It should be enjoyable and it should be for all genders and it should be fun. Like, I don't think people should be scared of science. And it is my goal, my personal goal, to make science not a scary thing anymore. I want more people to go out into the world and know that science is good. Science is fun. You can get so many things done with science. You can go to so many places with a science degree. It's so fun to do science. And even if you don't want to do any science degrees, you can still do your own little experiments at home. So check out the videos that I make for you in Google Classroom and stay up to date and subscribe to the YouTube channel because that's the easiest way to see my new videos. Um, they do get added to the assignments on the Google Classroom that are already posted. I posted all the assignments early because I wanted you guys to be able to move faster than one video a week. So just go at whatever pace you wanna go at, but know that I'm gonna be doing one video a week per class and I look forward to them. Sometimes it actually takes me double the amount of time to make the video than it does for me, to, for you to view the video because I click pause. So do know that the project pro possibly won't take you the same amount of time as the video and it could take you a little longer than the video. So keep that in mind. Um, if you have any questions, please send them to me. You could also send them to my email, s-s-h-e-r-e-r-dot-g-r-e-e-l-e-y O P T I O N S at sign Greeley. No, at gmail.com. Sorry. And you can contact me there. You could also join our Slack channel. The I think it's called Secondary Science, Mrs. Shear. Yeah, so I think it's called Secondary Science with Mrs. Shear or uh, Mrs. Shear's Secondary Science, and that's on our Slack channel. You can also mark that you're participating with emojis on the Slack channel or on our Google Classroom stream. That allows me to be able to see who's actually watching my videos and participating. Um, it also helps me feel like what I've done and the effort that I've put in is actually being seen and, and done by others. And that makes me feel happy. So if you're doing it to only make me happy, please, please help and mark your participation by either putting it on the stream, the Slack, or you can comment on the assignment you're working on, anything like that. Uh, to just let me know that you're here, you're watching, you're participating at home and you are doing the things that I have I have put together for you. Um, any questions you have, just let me know. Uh, we could also schedule visits, just you and me, if you wanna do that too. I don't do the Zoom videos, but I can do individual meetings with students if you would like. So you just have to let me know. All right, well, I hope to meet every single one of you and this has been exciting. We are on a very new adventure. Bye.